In this movie I'm going to discuss plant schedules or plant lists and show you how you can create them and modify them. This is not a detailed overview, it's just a, a primer to get you started. Once you have created a planting plan like this, and I'll use this sample one that we've had before, uh, you can create a, a report to put on the drawing or to print simply by going to the tools menu down to reports to choose schedule and I'll just make this window a little bit wider and the column a little bit wider and you'll see in here a number of worksheets that are pre-configured um, the ones with NV are the ones that come from Nemechek Vectorworks and the ones that we have created are the OSCAD ones and you'll see ones here for things like uh, hardscapes um, site services and things like that. The ones that we are particularly interested in are the plant list ones. And there's a few different ones here. Um, they're essentially duplicated with and without images. And you'll see what that means in a moment. So you'll see here OSCAD plant list separate species and then the same one down here with images. Um, so the three different ones here are just the uh, the species um, with, Im uh, with or without images and that doesn't include plant sizing or costing then we've created one that also includes the the size of the plants and also one that includes the costing of the plants so let's maybe have a look at the one here that uh, is the separate species plus size with images and we've got the checkbox here ticked so that means that when we click OK, Vectorworks will prompt us to click in the top left hand corner of where we want this worksheet placed on the drawing. And there you can see that we have our plant list and we've got a little preview image here of each of the plants that we've used. So these are, uh, if, if you didn't, if you chose the one without images, then this column would be missing and the first column would be the ID column. Now this is uh, essentially a starting point to, uh, for you. If you can certainly customize the appearance of this worksheet um, quite extensively. And uh, if you do want to edit the worksheet, you can do that simply by double clicking on this image and the actual worksheet itself that has the formulas and that is editable is going to open in a separate window. And while ever this window is open, the worksheet image has a cross through it. So the first thing to note here are the, uh, the images. And you may want to create a little bit more space around these images or not. Um, in order to do that, what you need to do is to turn on the formula rows. And these allow you to manipulate uh, the detail settings here. And we can do that by going to this little drop down menu here and choosing database headers. And a, a, an additional row has appeared above each section in this database there, 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 and so on. And if we click in this cell here, uh, or if we right click in this cell here, we can choose format cells and under images you see that we have got um, a fixed size of 50 by 50 um, and you can set this in millimeters inches or points points being one thousandth of an inch I think not sure um, anyway if you want these images to be larger or smaller you can change these numbers here um, there should also be a margin around these and you can specify that in uh, in points or millimeters so you might want to um, so there you go five points is 1.76 millimeters so if you wanted a margin around these of say about two millimeters and if we set these to millimeters let's see what we've got so each one is going to be let's round these up to say 20 millimeters each and that's going to be the preview size so if we then 
uh, and you'll notice that the plants are in top plan view but if they were 3D plants you could also choose to view them in 3D views and when you're in a 3D view you can also choose the render mode being OpenGL or Hidden Lion. I'll leave that on top plan. Uh, let's click OK and you'll see that they've now got a little bit bigger and we've got a bit more of a margin around them. So that's how you can tweak the appearance of the uh, the images. Now we only did that for this one here, so we need to repeat that for the other ones down here. So if we right click here, Format Cells, Images, 20, 20, 2, click OK and so on. Um, so in, in editing these, uh, these worksheets, if you're familiar with Excel, you'll see a lot of familiar things or numbers on the, on the Macintosh. You know, you can um, put the cursor up here and, and make a window wider or narrower, or a column wider or narrower. Uh, you can format cells. Again, if you want to format the cell differently, you can choose right click, choose format cells go in here and, and change the alignment, the font, border, patterns or color, uh, and so on, and the images where we were a moment ago. You can insert columns. So if I wanted to insert a column here, I could select this column, then right click down here and go insert rows or columns. You can delete columns the same way. You see delete column. You can clear the contents of a column. Uh, and so on. Now these worksheets are interactive so if you uh, if you go back and change anything on the drawing all you need to do is to choose recalculate from the menu here and the worksheet will re recalculate. Now I'm going to close this down and I'll turn off database headers first let's turn that off and then we'll close this and the, uh, the one on the drawing update. So let's move something or change something on the drawing here so that this should this should alter and uh, I'll simply be fairly cavalier about it and duplicate those um, acacias there and here they are, there's currently 15 in the drawing. We can also recalculate this without actually opening the worksheet image simply by right clicking and going down and choosing recalculate and when we do that you'll see that this is updated to 30. So let me mention one other thing about worksheets and I'll just delete these plants here and we'll go ahead and open the worksheet for editing and we'll turn on the database header rows When I select this row, you'll see that there is a sum icon in column B and a sort icon in column E. Now what this means is that when you put a sum icon in any cell, it's going to, uh, instead of listing every single plant individually, if there are multiples of a particular plant, then it will just list them once and put the quantity in. So let's just see what happens when I remove the sum icon from here simply by dragging it out. Um, okay, it looks like we only had individual ones of those. Let's try it for the shrubs. Okay, so now you can see that the, uh, the marayas have appeared four times and normally this is not what you want. You just want the plant to, be, to appear once and uh, and then have the quantity that you need and that's why that sum icon is available and that's why it's in this particular column. Now sometimes you'll if you've got a large and complex planting plan you'll find that there could be a mistake uh, somewhere in the worksheet where something is being reported and you can't really tell which plant it is that it's referring to. Well if you remove 
temporarily remove that sum icon from the worksheet so that every plant is listed and you then identify the plant and let's say it was this one here that has something wrong if you right click over here uh, in this very first column you get the option to select item and when you choose that Vectorworks will actually select that particular plant on the drawing if I just roll this up for a moment and move this off to the side let's just do that again so we can see it select item you can see that it's actually selected this plant on the drawing and so I can tell it's this plant here oh, this plant here and if there was some anomaly with this plant I can then identify which plant it is fix up whatever it is and then uh, I'm good to go again. So if ever you need to do that you have to take the sum icon out. Once you've uh, finished editing you can put that sum icon back simply by selecting this formula row and dragging the sum icon into the column that you want which in this case is the ID Now let's put it back in for this one as well. And I'm just going to take this sort icon out. So if I took this out and say you wanted to sort it by um, common name, I could put it in here. And then the order of the plants is going to change and they're going to be uh, alphabetical by common name or if it was by the IDs we can put that sort icon over here and now it's sorting them by the IDs. So when you're done editing again turn off the database headers close this down and your worksheet is going to update on the drawing.